Just hitting the ball to second. Or oh. maybe hitting it out of the ballpark. Take a good look. You won't see this for long. Nolan has done it again at Dodger Stadium. Home run number 41. His sixth. And this ball is lofted to deep right field by Blackman. And this is going to get out. Back to back jacks. Arenado and Blackman. The two guys we told you who fit the. This ball up the middle, and Hampson's going to come on down. And the Rockies have their third run as Tony Walters drives one up the middle. 3 0 Colorado. For Tony, his 40th RBI. Peter Lambert. Was at the corners, nobody out. And Taylor puts a drive in the left field. That'll get Bellinger home. He tags and scores. Throw comes into second. It is three to one. A sacrifice fly by Chris Taylor is 51st. One batted in. Colorado. This ball tagged to deep left field. Way back and gone. Garrett Hampson with his fifth. Make it four to one, Colorado. Third jack of the night for the Rockies the against your fourth. High fly ball to right. Back goes Blackman. It is gone. A home run for Seager. His 17th. It's four to two. And a bouncer toward third, and a fair ball snared by Arenado. His throw is late. And Smith gets Taylor home. It's four to three. One two. He can rips it into left for a base hit. He's tied it up. It's four four. The sixth pinch hit of the season for Kike Hernandez. And Muncie a base hit. Dodgers lead. Going first to third is Hernandez. Terrific hustle. And Pollock drives into center. On his horse is Hampson. This ball's gone. A three run home run for A.J. Pollock. Home run number 15 for Pollock. One at second, nobody out. And lots to left center field. That ball is going to get down for a hit. Taylor's going to come home. Here comes the throw from Desmond. It's cut off. Back to first. Luck safe. Another run in. 9 4. Tonight. And Hernandez rips one past story to left field of base hit. Runner coming to the plate. Standing up was Gavin Lux. Scores anyway. And it's 10 to 4. Man, that was scary. Muncie hits it to the gap in left center field. That's going to the wall. McGraw around third. Here comes Kike. He's in the score. A two-run double for Max Muncie. It's a dozen on the And this ball's crushed to deep right field. Take a good look. You won't see that one for long. Sam Hilliard on a tear. Third home run, his last five at bats. AJ, a seven run fourth inning really turned the tide for you guys. What was the biggest difference against that pitcher in particular? I thought he threw pretty well. You know, I, I, we faced him a little while ago and I thought his stuff was a lot better tonight, and uh, I don't know. I think we just had some pretty good bats where we grinded, but he made good pitches, and then you know all of a sudden we we were able to put up some runs there in that landing. Howard comes into the game on in relief, and you guys were able to capitalize all the way up and down the lineup. It seemed like you needed your manager to get ejected for you guys to get going offensively. Obviously, I'm kidding, but what can that do sometimes for a club when your manager is out there fighting for you? I mean, when obviously you play with emotion, I think it's it's always helps the team. Uh, I don't even know what happened. I was down below and. Next thing you know, I mean, Doc doesn't usually get that fired up too many times, but um, yeah, I mean, I don't, I don't know what was said. I know Doc, he's he's usually pretty mellow, so I'm sure it wasn't too bad, but uh, you know, we did a good job of, of rallying there, and yeah, right after it happened, we had a good, uh, good ending, and we were able to put up a lot of runs. 
It was his first ejection of the season, the last MLB manager to get ejected this year. Clayton Kershaw struggled a little bit early, but was able to settle down, picking up his 15th win of the season. What has he meant for you guys this year? Well, he just battles, you know, no matter what. When he, when he gives up runs early, it doesn't matter. He, he battles, and, you know, that's tough to do. I know when you're, you know, pitchers and, you know, you have some tough breaks, and, uh, you know, it's it, it's got to be tough as a pitcher to, to get back at it. But, you know, he just gives it everything he's got every time he's out there, and, um, you know, we're lucky we have him. Really good run support from you guys. You guys have set a single-season record of 844 runs, breaking the previous record of 842 runs set in 19 19- 62. How much does that mean to be a part of such an offensive club? It's fun. You know, it's fun. I, you, you know, you look at everyone up and down the lineup. It's a lot of fun when you know that, uh, you know, if you don't get it done, that the guy behind he's going to get it done. And uh, we got a lot of confidence in, in our players. And, you know, hopefully we can keep this thing going. Nice three run home run to open this one open. Thanks for your time. Thanks a lot. Yeah, not, not a lot of good tonight on my part. Um, pretty bad all the way around. Just uh, command-wise, stuff-wise, Christmas, everything. Just uh, it wasn't very good. Um, don't know why, but need to get better. Obviously, got one more to figure it out before the real thing gets going. So uh, thankful for that. One more to figure it out. How do you battle through it? Well, what else are you going to do? You know, I mean, I think you just got to continue to fight and realize that we're on a great team and we're going to score runs. I know we're going to score runs. Um, so just continue to just try to minimize the best you can and um, not really think about what's not going right. Just try to focus on the next pitch as best you can. And, um, you know, you're going to have nights like that. But thankfully, you know, tonight just put up a bunch of runs and got the win. Is that on top of your mind when you know that your offense has gotten to Lambert in the times that they've faced him? close yeah I mean no doubt I mean you, you're trying to do that no matter what but um, you know this year on, on this team right now you know that um, you know you might you try to keep it close is one thing but you got a pretty good chance of winning the game if you keep it to you know even four runs so um, that's that's a great feeling in, in particular like the first inning home runs that really added up this year do you is there anything about the first inning that you can point to to explain that not. Is it something you're trying, searching for an answer for? Uh, no, not particularly. Make better pitches, I guess. What did you do to pass the time in the bottom and fourth? Uh, I went in between and I threw a few times and um, threw a few pitches just to the wall, just to keep my arm going as best I could. Yeah. Did I get that rally? Great, yeah. It's what we do. Well, the Dodger bats got going in the fourth inning tonight. They ended up putting a dozen runs up overall, setting a new runs record here in the Los Angeles era for a season with still a bunch of games to go here, eight games left. But Nomar, uh, Clayton Kershaw, they got to him a little early, but then he settled down and became Clayton Kershaw again. Uh, well, it was really impressive. I mean, Clayton Kershaw is going to say, I was one of those days that I was just grinding out. Yes, wasn't able to hit his spots. They took advantage of it. They, once again, giving up some long balls. We've seen Kershaw do that quite a bit this season. But at the same time, with this type of offense, he knows he has to get back in there, give his team a chance to win and come back. And it's exactly what they did. Corey Seager with a home run tonight. A.J. Pollock, the big big three-run home run in the fourth inning. Yeah, I mean, A.J. Pollock's been swinging a great bat, especially since coming off the I.L. for the Dodgers, and that's exactly what you need. This is what you expected when you signed A.J. Pollock to that deal, but really just the whole entire offense, up and down the line of passing the baton. I think uh, almost every position player except Cody Ballinger had an that's RBI right. today, Isn't so everybody weird? was doing it. Yeah, exactly right. He almost hit a home run uh, late in the game, but at the same time, it really was the offense of just uh, coming out there, swinging the bats, picking each other up once again. It was fun to see. It's been a one-sided series. The Dodgers now 14 and three against the Rockies this year, seven and zero at Dodger Stadium. The Rockies have now lost 12 straight here 
and they've tied the, the Cincinnati Reds for the most number of losses in a row here at Dodger Stadium. It's just been one sided. It really has. And, the, and I think the Dodgers feel it. And, and at some point, you as Colorado, you start to feel it. You're like, gosh, are we ever going to beat these guys, especially over there at Dodger Stadium? But for the Dodgers, it's all about now trying to get home field advantage for the postseason, especially for the National League postseason. Walker Bueller will pitch for win number 100 on the season tomorrow night in game two.